Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to season two, episode one, a.k.a. episode 25, 25, 25. of the French Fox podcast. We're, guys, Halfway we're, to 50. We're a quarter to 100. And we're, and we're a good old half of a George quarter Washington. to 200. So true. We're an eighth to 200. And we're something to 1,000. I dropped math this year. Probably like one. If we've done 25 and there's four for 100 and there's 40, a 40th. Really? Uh, yeah. I knew it would be some kind That's of easy wild. Math, but my brain couldn't find it. So uh, this is the podcast where the team, we sit down, we have some fun, and yeah. uh, we're excited to get back into it for season two. Today we, have, today we have Dylan. Hey. Ben. What's up, guys? And I am Augie. No one will sadly could not You're be Augie, here today. You're Augie, Noah, and Will. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Augie, period. No one will sadly could not be here today, but enough small talk. Let's roll the intro. French Fox. French Fox. Yeah, 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 yeah. French Fox. French Fox. French Fox. Yeah, 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 yeah. French Fox. Yeah, 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 yeah. French Fox. Podcast. It's a podcast. Oh, man. It's so nice. I haven't heard it in so <sighs> long. Good to be back. Refreshing is the I word love that to comes listen to mind. To it. It's really, <laughs> it's really, it's really so nice. Yes. So now it's time for making its return to season two. It was such a hit in season one. Oh, probably the Since most famous. Since we last spoke. Oh, I li- literally didn't know what you were going to say. It's been a while. Wow. <laughs> I am hurt. It's been like... Uh, you were going to say like head to head maybe. Guys, weeks. Since, head we, to head. <laughs> since we last spoke, uh, New Year's, um, maybe Christmas? Uh, yeah, definitely Christmas. because didn't Government we- shutdown. Oh, uh, is it still shut down? Oh, yeah. Jeez. I keep hearing about that. Longest and it still has not managed to affect me in my personal life at all. So well, I really you don't work for the government. Yeah, so you don't know it. that. Think about other people. Dylan. Actually, I'm, I, I'm, in the espionage, selfish I'm in the espionage field. It does affect me, but uh, I don't work for this country. So it's, it's easier. Oh, okay, nice. Mm-hmm. So what's everyone been up to? Come on. Oh, anyone? Ben, well, Ben just like opened his mouth to jump yawn, in there. I, I thought he was like winding up for it. How are your New talking. Year's? Come on, um, give me something. Well, okay, so like this is just this story is just kind of interesting because it ties into this podcast. It's quite okay. a throwback, actually, because we talked about Thirteen Reasons Why, and uh, I'm trying to get back into acting recently because I am I've turned eighteen now, so it's much easier to get called out for auditions. Very and, true. And uh, my first audition in a long time was a self-taped audition for 13 Reasons Why Season 3. Whoa. Yes. How was it? How'd it go? Uh, I get think it? it went well. You I don't it? know yet if I got it. Probably not. But it's uh, it's late in the third season, the episode that I was reading, and it's like a big twist moment. So, Whoa. I mean, it's fun because I could actually I could spoil Season 3. Please but don't. don't. I won't. But How they didn't did, have I, mean, I must yet. confess that I've only seen the first episode of the second season. and that's I must that's confess <laughs> I haven't seen a single episode of the show. That's probably it's a good thing. It's worthwhile. I, I know I'm, we've, I'm, talk, we've talked yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I um, like the first season. How did you feel auditioning for that? Like, because of your, your stance on it. Well, okay, so original, I, uh, uh, originally, I didn't know what it was, uh, but then I... Cause were they, 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 were call they it hiding something else? what it was yeah, called? Yeah, they do okay. that with they big do that projects. A lot. Undisclosed, um, Netflix, teenage No, it said Sound, drama v- show. Sound View 3 or something. Yeah, um, I auditioned for uh, the, like, Spider-Man um, oh, Homecoming, yeah, yeah, yeah. and Into they called the it, spider- like, oh. they called it, like, Hot Pursuit or something <laughs> oh like my that, God. and it was, like, about, like... I don't know, jail or something. Weird. See, yeah, that's it makes sense, too, because I was wondering why they didn't have me sign an NDA since it was like a last episode of the season, it felt like. But that makes sense because they, they th- didn't expect me to do my research. But I saw an executive producer with Selena Gomez. So then I looked up oh, yeah. who do was it. doing it. And then the IMDb just basically says exactly the Exposed executive producer. Them. So, yeah, they got exposed quick. And then, I mean, it felt... I thought I would feel more conflicted, I guess, in theory, but then in reality, there was no thought ever in my mind of I'm not going to do it because I didn't even boycott watching the show. Like, I'm not that mad at it. Right. And then I, it's just that could be it's not really I don't know. I feel like especially in the latter half of season two, it got to be very soap opera y. But I am not so stubborn that I will not take that job. Like, that's good exposure and good connections and stuff. So sure. Just, I get it. Just like a normal audition when it came down to it, which surprised me. But well, I wish you luck. Thank Hope you, you get it. Thank you. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah, it would be cool. Um, since we last spoke, I'm still the only one who's 17 on the team. Oof. Oh man, that's but exciting. I'm so close. You're so close. We gotta have a big birthday bash for you. We birthday should bash. Um, since we last spoke, 
Uh, and you can see them on the vlog coming out this Sunday, or maybe it's already come out. I don't know when you're listening to this. Uh, Dylan and I decided to gift the team with a bunch of French Fox hats, Woo-hoo. and they look really cute. Check them out. Uh, we'll probably post a photo on our Instagram or mm-hmm. things like that. It's pretty cool. They turned out great. Buy yeah. them on our merch store. Not yet. One no. day. Oh, maybe. Yes. Maybe one day. Can we sell a gaming chair? Can we make one really iconic? A French Rocks DX racer? Yep. Maybe. That's a nod towards uh, Jablinski. Oh, I thought that's it was Jack a nod Black. to PewDiePie. No, that's the joke. Yeah, it is a yeah, nod yeah, to yeah. <laughs> yeah. T-Series. T-Series. No, never. So I wanted to talk about something because uh, one of my social or uh, not social media, one of my New Year's resolutions Mm -hmm. uh, and we can talk about some resolutions. But um, one of my New Year's resolutions was like to like use Instagram less and like other stuff. Oh, yeah. But, you know, social media less. Um, So that's been going pretty well. It's it's, Mm -hmm. I've been getting a lot of stuff done. However, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but it's an, an account called. Uh, I think it's world record egg or record breaking egg. egg. Um, yeah, world record egg. Okay. It's an account with one photo oh. of an egg. Oh. Just an egg. And they are trying to break the world record for most likes on an Instagram photo. Oh. The the record is held by Kylie Jenner. Okay. Um, Kylie well, Jenner has I really want the 18 egg million likes. On a single photo. On one photo. That actually, is, I that think, is nuts. Yeah, That's it's actually That's wild. Insane. That is insane. But let me tell you something. This egg, world record egg, who posted the photo, uh, I'm trying to see the date that it was posted. January 4th. That is nine days ago. We're mm-hmm. recording this on January 13th. Um, it's at 12 million likes. Wow. Sometimes you got to love the internet. I need to go That's drop amazing. a lie. Everyone has like rallied it. around this egg because this morning it was at 11 million. Wow. I really want this egg to win now. Too. I, I liked mean, it. That, I'm not going to lie. As we speak, I'm, gonna go I'm like going it. to like that egg. Yeah. So I would say um, if the record hasn't been broken already by the time this podcast comes out, go smash that like button yeah, on wow. egg. But I was just thinking, like PewDiePie versus T Series, Egg versus Kylie Jenner, these yeah. epic battles. Here's the um, here is the bio. Kylie Jenner has the record for the most likes on Instagram posts with 18 mil. Can we beat it with a picture of an egg? Oh, and for business inquiries, yes. world record egg at gmail dot com. Hit them. Hit them up. No, I just I think it's for business inquiries, oh. but it just has their email, and they're up to 759 thousand followers. Wow. And I really like that they haven't used it at all to like self promo that well, like sure no that one knows who it is. They make the record. Maybe, yeah. But um I hope not. It it's pretty it's pretty awesome if this yeah. just just this Preserve one picture. It's, of it. it's pretty smart as well. Yeah, yes, it's it like is. it's so simple but so genius. Well, and like, like you know it wouldn't happen if it was like a picture of the person. If they were like, no, Hi, I'm no. Brian, I'm trying to get oh, yeah. beat it's the likes. Because like an egg is the perfect random like cute object and it's literally the most like it. yeah it's the most mundane picture it's just an egg with a white background it's just <laughs> so simple it's representational wow of a, of a larger thing so maybe we should try and um, beat a world record guys picture what, of me. what world i already record hold we the beat? world record for what for most baskets made from behind the hoop at chaparral by a elementary school student that's such a specific record and wow. i have it what's the record like six. That's uh-huh. it. It's within. It's in a minute. Oh, in a minute. Oh, <laughs> wow! You were quite the baller back in your day. Yeah, he did throw it across your pool and not make it in the basket, but he got somewhat close once. He did. He did. It really mm-hmm. is close if you go back and mm-hmm. watch that footage. Do you guys play any any sports as youths? A lot. Almost every one. Really? <laughs> yep. Which ones? Uh, tennis, soccer, basketball, football. For a sec. Um, football. football. <laughs> what Jeez. did you do? Oh, were God, you the QB? Were you the QB? Were you the this, QB? Was, this was so far back in the day. There weren't even positions. It was like, let's play football. Got it. Gotcha. Yep. Um, in elementary school, you know, recreationally, not really as a professional, didn't decide to go pro league, but oh. I played a little handball, a little four square. Little, oh, uh, um, I was so flag. good at four square. Not going to mm-hmm. lie. Those games were fun. Sorry, sorry to be so boastful, but I no, was pretty it's true. good at The only man square. that ever defeated you was me. Actually, yeah, that's not. Wow. Is that true? I think we were pretty even. We were, we were, I, I think you started out definitely better than me, and then I think by the end of the year, I'd had like a few training we montages. I was up yeah. there. Yeah, I did travel hockey for many years, and then one one day on the in San Jose, California, I took like the butt end of a stick to my jaw. Like even though in youth hockey you have to wear the full cage, but like it got up under, 
And the whole car ride home, I was talking like this. Mm. And, and me and my dad decided that it was time to quit. Wow, that was the end right there. Wow. Yeah. Like, it wasn't my last game, but it was he when I... It hockey it was, forever. It was when I knew that, that I was not going to continue another season. Uh, was there any point where you were thinking, like, I want to be in the NHL, stuff yeah, like that? As a, as a kid, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but, I also um, played hockey. Sorry to interrupt. Just remember that. No, yeah. it's all good. It's just like... Hockey is such a sport where it's like you need to be either fast or big. And I was medium fast and very small. Tiny, oh. yeah. you could say. Yes. That, yeah. I think I had the same problem. Yeah, I played like T ball. Yeah. Um, oh, oh I, yeah. I played like Little League. Soccer, as a like the little soccer. Um, I think T ball and soccer were the main ones. But soccer, my parents always said, like, I was so, like, basically, when like five or six year olds, whatever that age is, play soccer, it's just one giant, like, mosh pit around yes. the ball. Yeah. Like, just slowly moving really back scary. and forth. <laughs> so good. Um, and I, my parents always told me I would just, I would avoid, I would just be on the outskirts, like, not even <laughs> trying to get in. I would just kind of, like, be back smart, there. Smart. And my mom asked me, my mom was like, don't you want to, like, get in there? And I was like, I could get hurt. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, so that was me. I, I was not, I, I was not much of a sportsman, but then like tennis later, but that was more of like something that I actually tried at versus yeah. just a kid sport that your parents are like, I wonder if they'll like this yeah, type thing. That reminds yep. me when I played little league, um, I was on the little league Rangers and like somehow I found myself on this team. Like we were really good. Whoa. So like I was cool. like, watch out, people. They were I, really good. <laughs> I was like the worst player on the team, definitely. Like unless th there was probably three people who were like at my level, and we were on the bottom, and then like all these other players were actually really good at baseball, and we would win every game. Then I moved, and I like got a postcard from my old team, like state champions. <laughs> oh <laughs> wow! wow. <laughs> no, and I was like rip. But so I you were holding them back. Yes, I was Damn. like, Yikes. I'm glad that I let you. I needed to leave so they could. Soar. Really, it's your victory because you left and that allowed them to win. Exactly. They mm -hmm. never would have had that Send ring you the trophy. without me. Yep. Oh, wow. ring. So, well, uh, wait, it's a ring. Ring is just symbolic of a championship, but I'm sure. Yeah, it's a like trophy, in right? NFL and the NBA, and I mean anywhere Any you, you win the championship, there's one trophy that like the team gets, oh. and then every player and like the, a, a lot of the staff get rings. Even in ac so I listeners, I do academic decathlon at school competition. Take a bunch of tests. Um, you give a speech. You do. You write an essay. Yeah. Can you? Can you? Because. Because when I think of academic decathlon, and like I found this out a long time ago yeah. when you were first first starting to get into it, I yes. think of like two big like desks with teams on both sides, and they're I'm like what's writing on two plus two I times to the fourth, and then <laughs> they all like scribble down, and then they buzz in like family feud. I yes. kid you not. I only just now became self aware of the fact that every time that you talk about uh, academia, as it as we call it, the lingo, <laughs> I am. Um, I think about Anita in the B just like subconsciously. No, yeah, it's definitely a common misconception. And like, I feel like everyone has it until someone tells them. There are activities that are like that, like Science Bowl and um, mathlete, mathletes. But um, academic decathlon is not a buzzer thing because the truth is, a buzzer doesn't test knowledge as much as it tests speed. Um, yeah, but that's so fun. It is fun. Oh, believe me, I would love to do that in the future. But academic decathlon is just trying to gauge like how well you've mastered the material. So you get thirty, you get thirty minutes to take a fifty question test in seven different subjects, mm. and then it's your score. Because that way, there there's the some people who know the material better, but their process of like mustering the knowledge is slower than others. Sure. So oh. that's why you're taking tests. But anyway, I was at a scrimmage for the um for deca and the um the team that was hosting the scrimmage was na was national champions last year and the the student who was handing out the papers like <laughs> he had his he had his ring on wow and i was like that is a flex i was like this man is flexing that the, is something that i would do good for him <laughs> admittedly the academic championship ring Jeez. Speaking of championship rings, yes, sure. Baby Shark has taken over the world. Do you guys Who? know what Baby Shark is? Awesome. The song? Is this not the whole the song? Who's it's baby? the song that goes, Baby Shark, do 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 do. Baby oh, Shark, do do. That's like a theater warm up. No. 
but yeah, it's like I think it was like a it's like a, also a camp game, but like yeah, yeah. this one YouTube oh, channel. That, that's what I was thinking. This actually. one YouTube channel called I don't know, but got like so popular. Did they animate it's it? It's like on Billboard's Hot 100 because just kids love the song. Oh, um, so like they love Fortnite dances. So there's oh, I have a geez. quiz for you guys, and it's which has more views, Blank or Baby Shark? On YouTube, oh, okay. but I don't know how many views Baby Shark has. So you just have to guess, Uh-oh. like which one do you think is more popular? Okay, got in it. In terms of views and popularity, so first to start off, Pharrell's "Happy" or Baby oh, Shark. Baby Shark. Just for context, Pharrell's "Happy" that was like a really big music video, like just as yeah. big as the song because he did like a bunch of them and it was like a whole thing. But and Despicable Baby Me. Shark and Despicable Me, yes, of course. So what do we think, Baby Shark? Or Pharrell. Wait, who gets are you saying the crown? in terms of the song or the YouTube video? I think it's the views, but it says the views and popularity. Oh. No, I think it's just views. I don't know. We'll okay. see. Um, I'm so sad to say, but I think Baby, Baby Shark. Shark it's probably Baby more. Shark. I'm happy to say it. I like Baby Sharks. Baby Shark wins. Yeah. Happy is the 136th most viewed video. Baby Shark is the 25th most oh, viewed geez, video that in thing the got world. Up there. Okay, so that's good to know going forward on this quiz. Yeah. Yep. Baby Shark is the 25th. And that things that seemed really big can actually be like kind of down there on that raining. Yeah. So next up, we have Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe oh, I, I or hope, Baby Shark. I hope this was Baby a big Shark. music video. No, it was. Um, we can all picture it in our head. Yeah, yeah, right? They're Actually, like, for a while. Watching yeah. the car and the driveway. the garage. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, I'll all admit, there was a solid... I, I like remember getting so frustrated. I was almost like in tears because this came out when I was still somewhat young. And I didn't cry, but I was close because everybody kept saying, there's this big twist at the end of the video. You have to watch it. So then I kept looking for it. And for like three months, I just couldn't find it on YouTube. Like, I don't know what was happening. You I couldn't could, find the music video? You could couldn't not figure find out the, what the, the narrative twist. music video. I couldn't find it. Oh. I mean, the twist is very clear. Poor kid. Yeah, I was like, I want to know what the twist is. I was like, should avoiding we, spoilers. Should we reveal the twist? I don't remember the twist. Oh, it's like it's like she's going after this guy the whole yeah. time, and then at the end, he's like gay. Oh. Really? It's it's pretty clever, but when I watched it, when I finally yeah, found that, it, that, I was like, that eh, rings over That yeah. rings a bell. Yeah, mm-hmm. she's like, ah, and then he like walks off with a guy, I think, or something uh, like yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, it, it's good. It's just, I mean, I don't know. It's cool. You just you <laughs> built it up for it, three yeah, months. Yeah, I thought it was, everybody was talking about like the twist, and like it's not really. A, yeah. That, that well, big. it also didn't help that you spent three months fantasizing about what possible twist. I thought it was. You probably thought like, someone was going to get killed the, off. Yeah, no, like or, the, it was like another dimension comes into yeah. play or something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Call me maybe your baby shark. What do we think? Baby, what do we think? Shark. baby shark. I'm with you guys on this. Let's see. Baby Shark. Yeah. Carly <laughs> Ray is only the 113th most viewed video. So wow. just right near Pharrell. I still up there. Still impressive. Are they gonna, I wonder if they're going to ask for Rebecca Black's Friday verse. It's Friday. We'll see. Versus what Baby about Firework? Shark. Katy Perry, Firework. Big song. Baby Shark. Huge Baby song. Shark. Baby, Baby Shark. Shark. Baby Shark. Okay. Baby Shark. I, just, I feel like this is going to be the theme. I want my <laughs> Baby Shark. Baby yeah, Baby Shark. Shark. Baby Shark. Shark. It doesn't even yeah, say. Right. Let me guess. Katy Perry's... Firework is the 67th. Doesn't even say. Right. But um, you're probably right. It's probably so around there. Fact check me somewhere. Uh, Fifth Harmony's Work From Home or Baby Shark? <laughs> Baby Fifth Shark. Harmony, are you kidding me? Baby Shark. If it's Fifth Harmony, I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. For but Fifth Mark. Harmony, can you guess what Fifth Harmony? 54. Like 30th. 31. Oh, nice. 31. Wow. Because there's so many I people that thought people that that are getting on YouTube like more and more. Pharrell, come on. All right. We're closing in. Which has more views? Megan Trainer is all about that bass Baby or Shark. Baby Shark? Baby Shark. Well, think all about, about it, that think bass. I think the music video is just as big as the No, but song. think about how we're trending in this quiz. It's going that, progressively that's true, closer. But think about it. If Baby Shark we know is 25. Yeah. And, and what the heck? Fifth, Fifth Harmony, Harmony was 30. How many questions are there, Augie? Uh, I'm not telling you. Oh, I still because think I think this is going to be the last or second to last one where Baby Shark wins. Yes, yeah, yeah. Megan yeah. Trainor is going to be like twenty seven. That's what I was going to say. A, they're about to do their big reveal of what the one is that's above it. Megan right. Trainor is going to be like twenty seven. So we're going with Baby Shark. Yeah, yeah. No, no, <sighs> wrong. All about that Baby Shark. All about that base is no. at. 20th most viewed. See, all now I'm sad time. though. Because Where is Megan Baby Shark's kind of Does she cute. still make music? She's probably making an album. She's probably in the works. Mm-hmm. Dropping a hot. Yeah, I feel like she touring. has songs that are playing on the radio that I just don't know are her, but are like oh, yeah. playing. Maybe she's touring. I can, I bet I can predict what's going to be. I wouldn't know because I would never go to him. There's going to be like a bass. Oh, wow. And Sorry. the beat's going to be only a little bit different than her previous ones. 
and the lyrics will be 100% different, but that'll be about it. All right, what has more views, Taylor Swift's Bad Blood or Baby Shark? Um, bad Blood. I'm going with now Bad it's Blood, probably bad on blood this one I think because now. that was the one with her squad. It was, it was yeah. fire. It was actually fire. All right. Wrong. What? Bad Blood is only 86th. Rip. Ha. Fifth Harmony Take is above, is above Bad ha. Blood. That was surprising. Where does Thank You Baby Next Shark. fall on this list? Thank I think Thank You, you Next is too next, early. Next, next. I know it has a lot of views. This but is I think really it's putting early. into context how big Baby Shark is. Baby also. Shark or Hotline Bling? Oh, sorry. Yes, hmm. Dylan. You said oh, also? I was just going to say I haven't seen Thank You Next yet. Oh, not, be, so not because good. I haven't had time. I'm just it's really not Because when you said oh, that Taylor Swift has her squad so, with her, so it made me think good. of Ari and her squad, like the girl from Victoria's. Mm. Jade. Uh, Jade. In the video. Yeah. It's not really Ari's squad. They were kind of <laughs> enemies. Yeah. If you'd watched is it, she? maybe you would have known. I know the guy from Victoria's is in the video. Jade is in the video. Jade Pettyjohn? No, no, no. Jade oh, Pettyjohn. Pull it up. Jade. Who's Jade. You know the mean girl? Oh, yeah, from yeah, the sister. Bro, the, the sister. Goth, yeah, the yeah, goth. yeah. Sorry, no, sorry, sorry. Not sorry. the sister. Wait, Wait what? No, that's sister? Liz. That's Liz. No. That's Liz the goth Gillies. Girl? That's Liz Gillies. I'm talking yeah, but the about, character I'm talking about, name is Jade. I know you're talking. No, but she's not in it. But the sister is. The sister from Victorious is in it. No, for sure. it's Jade. Jade is in the, the Santa. Is part. Rex in it? Is oh, is she? Oh, okay. Yeah, the. Yeah, I didn't recognize the Jingle Bell Rock. Guys, is the. But I think the sister is the dummy in it. Is Rex in it? No, but the guy is, oh. but not Rex. Jade's boyfriend. Wow. You know what I found out? Yeah, that he that like Rex was voiced by someone else. Oh well, yeah. I thought he was actually like a ventriloquist. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, there's moments where they're both. Augie, talking. I hate to, I hate to get meta here, but you were on the show and you didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, but but, but 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 Rex wasn't in the episode I was in. I was actually sad. But do you know that the Goldbergs is also not shot in the eighties? That's like, different. Like, there's a lot of delusions we have to clear up. That's here. different. Did you know that the because, whole because school in the Goldbergs is green screen? No, it's not. It's <laughs> Did not, you know that that not. whole show is Guys, CGI watch animation? Watch the Goldbergs. Watch the Goldbergs <laughs> on Wednesday nights on ABC. But anyways, um, mm. I because they a lot of the kids on there are like talented for their specific thing. Like there's dancers, and then like the uh, the the guy like Leon Thomas the third or whatever who was like an amazing musician. Oh, I love him. Yeah, mm-hmm. like who so I, so that was I everyone's favorite cast, character yeah, from yeah. that show. So and he I had thought, his grandma. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought they cast a guy who could actually do like ventriloquism. Uh, like I thought that. But there's parts where the puppet talks. But if they with were casting the talented time, like people, how would you have been yeah. on the show? So Hotline Bling or Baby Shark? Hotline Bling. Uh, I'm going with Baby Shark, Baby Shark. on this one. It's Baby Shark. And I know in the Baby Shark. Wrecking, wrecking Ball or Baby Shark? It's got to be Wrecking Ball. Be wrecking Please, ball. ball was insanely huge. Because I remember people watch that out of hate, too. That really gets a video big. Baby Shark. It's Baby Shark. Baby oh, Shark wins. no way. Wrecking Ball is 153. What? It's above like all. I mean, it's behind all of those. It's this really just makes hard me feel like I don't have like a, a good grasp. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> this one is interesting. Gangnam Style or Baby Shark? Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style was the first video to ever hit a billion views. He's made so it much money. It has to be Gangnam Style. There's no way it's not. Sigh. I love Sigh. Please. Sigh. Okay. Yes. Gangnam, okay. Gangnam Sigh. Style. Gangnam, Style. Gangnam, Style. Gangnam Style is now op, op, at three point two billion op, op, Gangnam views. Style. Op, um, Gangnam Style. But it's only hey. the sixth most viewed video ever. Wow. At three point two billion views. Number what is one. First? Watch Mojo's top ten list of best movies in twenty seventeen. Lady Gaga's Bad Romance or Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Baby, Baby Shark. Shark. Yeah. Uh, Dua Lipa's New Rules or Baby, Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Baby Shark. Please. Yeah. Uh, I bet you could still find people. J Lo's on Lee the floor, or Baby Shark. For That's sure, me. Baby you Shark. Find me. J Lo. Oh my yeah. God, no wow. way. Uh, baby shark. Oh, Justin Bieber's Baby or Baby Shark. Baby, baby Shark. or Baby Shark. Baby. I'm but, gonna say no, Baby. No, but there's so many people like me who. But I, baby is also the most disliked video or second now. Oh, now YouTube sure. Rewind. Sorry. Well, but the what YouTube, a great meme. But wait, That's the same as the egg like. Is YouTube Rewind only at like how many dislikes does it have? Do you know? At least a million. But see, so then... But think about if likes... That's, but if that's the most dislikes, then it's not that big of a deal to say that then Baby is the most disliked if Baby Shark has so many views. I don't know what those things have... I don't know what you're saying. But I think it's Baby. Because it's just been on longer and it was the My most... My vote is Baby. I'm just going to say Baby. And if it's Baby Shark, then I'm going to just say Shark again at the end and okay. be right. So what's, what are you thinking, Dylan? Baby. It's Baby Shark. Shark. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Nice guess. Good guess. Yeah, good thank guess. You, thank cool, you, thank cool. you. Cool. Are you so good at this? Um, chandelier or Baby Shark? Baby Shark. Chandelier. I would say Baby Shark. Yeah, Baby Shark. Yeah. Uh, wow, this is... Yeah, no oh, oh, this is the long one. This is the last... Sorry, long one. <laughs> this is the last one. Uptown Funk or Baby Shark? Baby Shark. I want it to be Uptown Funk, it's but be it's baby 100% shark. Baby no. Shark. 
Uptown Funk. Yes. Yes. It has, it has 3.4 billion views. Uptown Funk has more what views is the than video? Gotham I haven't style. seen the video. I've, I've seen only... the video. Um, But that is surprising. What's number one? Let me look it can up. Can you just look it up? Wait, Steve Tim, can you look that up for us? Steve Tim had an awesome hiatus. Oh, Ooh. it's so good to have him back for season two. Outstanding. I mean, like, I want to take guesses, but I can't even, like, begin to formulate what it would be. Like, mm. I just It's probably know. a foreign thing, right? Wait, the top video know. or the top song? No way. Video. Probably PewDiePie. Okay. Okay, guys. Yes, Steve. Yeah. Just spill it. Welcome back. Let it out. I'm back. <laughs> That's why welcome. I said welcome back. <laughs> uh, I'm just scrolling. And number one... Is Despacito? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that makes sense. That Thank feels, you. That feels Steve. like a defeat, though. I don't know why. I just Despacito. Uh, number two is Despacito. Number four. Number two is The Shape of You. Oh, okay. These aren't and quality. Number, and number th- three is know. Uptown Funk. No. What's no. number? <laughs> what's number three? Oh, Uptown Funk. What is it? Oh, Charlie good Puth. Lord. Good Lord. I see you again. Okay, Steve, oh. you're going to you're going to hurt someone's ears. All right, Steve. You're, gonna, you're really talkative this season. I don't Jeez. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> but but so where does that town funk fall? 5 or 4? Because you I know really they want to ask him. I know that no, Gangnam don't Style do is it. <laughs> 6. It's 4. So what's 5, Steve? This will at least get us to Gangnam Style. Get to I don't know. It's Masha and the Bear. What is that? What? It looks like a foreign cartoon. Oh, I feel like Annika's watched that. It's like really weirdly she animated. She probably has. Like kind of like almost CGI-ish. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Annika's watched yeah. that. That's my little sister. Oh, yeah. I've seen that. Well, what? you haven't. Oh. No chance. <laughs> no, yeah, it's true. I haven't. Um. Yeah. Okay. That that makes sense that Despacito yeah. would because and I mean, and, De- and um Alexa play Despacito. Despacito, Despacito has 5.7 billion views and the next one which is uh, Shape of You only has 3.9. So that's a big mm. differential. Becoming a meme will really do that for you. Yeah. No, I th- I don't think it had to do with the meme. I think well, it had the, to I've probably played it like 100 times just but as a through joke. Through YouTube? On Discord you can play it through YouTube and they get oh, a view. Oh, yeah, that that would that would probably help. But I think it was mostly just because like e- every country listened to the song. Yeah. Like it wasn't just an American song like That's true. like Shape of You. I was. think it's it totally makes sense. Like there's nothing there's no foul play afoot here. It's 100% it makes sense that this would happen, but it always disappoints me a little bit that like it's never the really artistic songs that are at the top there because it's the ones well, that are so not. broadly like it's just a it's a satisfying pop song and it's just kind of bouncy. But like, I don't know. I wish some artsy stuff would get up there, but it makes sense that it won't. So, guys, do you have any New Year's resolutions? This is the first podcast of the new year or or, or season two podcast resolutions, things you want to happen or French Fox resolutions, anything. I'll take anything. I mean, I kind of like, I made my New Year's resolution in May of last year. That's cheating. And that's where it's kind of like and a resolution. Was... Like, it's never, you nev- You don't need a holiday to tell you that you can change to be better. I like, True. The, I like True. the marking points for like the feeling like a new person but yeah. it is, it's kind it of like when you, it's kind of like when you've been in bed yeah. when you wake up at like eight and then you like sit on sit in bed on your phone and you're like okay 8 30 is when not like because it's like yes. a specific yes. time yeah i got exactly you. it's psychological thing, but just but yeah. since may i've had a push-up timer on my phone Ooh. that goes off at 5 p.m every day oh i know and while i don't do it at 5 p.m every day for the vast majority of days, I've done push-ups. Every Often day. in front oh, of not even like I, I'm, like my goal isn't to get like buff, ripped. Or swole. You're not trying to get yoked, swole. my man. No, I mean like if I've definitely seen like improvement because that's that'll just happen if you do push-ups daily. Mm-hmm. But it's not for that. It was more to like tell myself that I'm going to do something daily and to do it. Mm-hmm. How many do you do? It'll yeah. range like at the very least I'll do thirty. But like there are Whoa. there are wow. there are days where I'll do like. Over a hundred. I thought you were gonna say like ten. Well, no, because if I, I get to twenty, I'm like, wow. So, do you take breaks? Yeah. In between. Mm-hmm. So, how many? Like, what's the increments? 
it, it's, it's so abstract because, like I said, I'm not doing it to be strong. Right. I'm, I'm doing it to do it. But, like, I'll usually do, like, 15 and 15. And then it just depends how many 15s I do in a day. Like, there are days where right. I do eight 15s throughout the day just because I'm bored. At 8.15? Yes. Another thing that I do is just, like, when I'm sitting around, I'll just do push-ups because I'm like, okay, if I'm not going to fully commit myself to, like, doing work... I'm at least not going to do nothing. So I'll just do push-ups. So my time was spent doing something. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a weird philosophy. No, I get it. I get yeah, it. That makes I, sense. If I'm mm-hmm. not doing anything, I feel like... You feel terrible. I feel like a piece of garbage. I exactly. Can, I can do so, nothing for like three hours, then I'm like... So push-ups have become right. kind of my in-between where it's like, I can't force myself to go all in, but I'm certainly not going to stay at ground zero. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Solid. Well, Dylan, um, I have a few, but they're pretty brief. Um, I mean, I have the obvious one, I think, which is just that I want to like try and be. Everybody says like be a better person, and then mine is more not. I mean, it's not as morally upstanding as that, but it's just I would like to be the person where I am like I can be perceived in that way, if that makes sense. Because I feel like I'll explain it because that sounds really trashy, but like I feel like on the inside, I'm often that person, and on the outside, I present myself in a different way. So I want to see if I can change that a little bit, if that makes mm. sense. Which yeah, I think is just a side effect of high school. Authenticity. Yeah. Kind of. like it, Basically, yeah, not really try to be anything anymore in terms of just... It's hard. Put on, put on like the... Uh, I'll present myself well, but like I want to present something that I feel is like an actual, mostly accurate version of me. Um, sure. Because I've heard that that's a much happier, healthier way to live. So hmm. trying it out. Well, I love that. Well, T.S. Eliot, a poet, said that the greatest treason is to do the right thing for the wrong reason. Oh. Whoa. Just saying. What about the wrong, thing for the, right the wrong thing for the right reason? Now we're into morally shady area. I don't know. I don't have a quote for that. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, let's see. I had another one. Oh, well, I'm, I'm in high school, so this also makes sense. But I've made a, like a lot of short films and stuff. And a lot with like French Fox, and then before that with Augie for two four zero. Um, I would like to either What's on my own. Never mind, I know. <laughs> oh yeah, um, but I guess either on my own or with French Fox or both. I just want to end this year, like looking back and being like, not only have I made films, but I feel like I am actually. They don't have to be good, but like I am a filmmaker now. Like I am actually like I can call myself a creator in I that field. I would say you're already that. Well, but I mean like yes, technically, but I would like to have like. You want? I don't want. Like I don't it? need to f- win film festivals. I would like to be in them. I want to have projects that, like, I'm proud of some of the stuff that I've done and we've done. But I would like to have stuff that I can look back on and be like, that was I, this part of that is really, really well executed. Like, I, that I'm proud of that. Well, that's a great segue into something that we released this week, Ooh. or I guess last week now. Yeah. Um, which is a teaser for a short film that we are going to be releasing soon. Which yeah. uh, we all, it's called How to Make People Like You. Um, we shot it this past summer, last mm-hmm. August, and we've been working really hard editing it. And, you know, we're getting it scored right now. Ben and co-stars in it. Ben co-stars in it. Yeah, he does a mm-hmm. great job. Um, and uh, it's very exciting. And we can't wait to show that to you if you haven't checked out the teaser. Highly recommend. It's super quick, but mm-hmm. um, it, 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 it's fun. Um, and if you by chance listen to this podcast and aren't subscribed to the YouTube channel, I would recommend that you do that yeah. because uh, it's a it's a pretty fun time. Mm-hmm. I would I would recommend it. And if you like this podcast, you'll definitely like the YouTube channel. Yeah. And you'll, then you'll get to see teaser and more high quality stuff that we release. Yeah, I'm really excited for the movie to come out. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's gonna be super fun. Uh, my New Year's resolution probably just uh, definitely want to work super hard on French Fox and get it to grow a little bit more and make cool stuff on that. Just want to keep making a lot of cool stuff like we are now, but even Staying more. Staying like on this lot. path. Yeah, exactly. But also not fearing to go off the path. Never. And to blaze anew. Interstellar. Yeah, I think that's a direct quote. Interstellar was very Just scientifically kidding, not a accurate. <coughs> no, it's not. There's yeah. a whole book about how it's very accurate. Uh-oh. Mm. This is beef. Well, <laughs> since we last talked about the egg, it has gotten 400,000 new likes. Oh, dude, that was us. Two of them we, were me. We publicized it. Oh, yeah. Thanks, um, everyone. Thanks, all you French Fox you. Uh, <laughs> fans for uh, yes. all 400,000 of you for boosting that up. Yes. I liked it twice. I liked it zero. On my I will Finsta later. and my Finsta. Ooh. So anyways, thank you all for listening. Oh, we have to do our shout outs. Oh, 
It's shout out time. Shout out time. Ooh. Shout out time. Ooh. It's shout out time. Ooh. We're going to get some um, little stinger tunes okay. for Sick. all of our little uh, things. I like soon. it. Soon. That's for the audience. In the works. Dope. Yeah. Um, shout out time. Go. I <laughs> will shout out two albums, even though they're not even new. Freudian hey. Daniel Caesar. Control Actually, the second SZA. time, second time we've gotten, uh, we've had a Daniel Caesar shout out. Noah did one in hey. the oh, first ever shout it. out. Anyway, segment. so I've just fallen into my Daniel Caesar phase, but... Freudian, Daniel Caesar, Control, SZA. Uh, I'm in such a SZA, Daniel Caesar so phase good. right now. I'm listening to them exclusively. Check them out. God, they're so good. Yeah. Um, I have also an album recommendation, actually. And this is, he's pretty popular, but uh, have you, heard, you guys heard of Alec Benjamin? No. No. He has an album called Narrated For You that, I mean, the rest of his music is good. Narrated For You is so good just in that the writing of it is so much. It, the storytelling is amazing. Like, What's it's the really, style? Really What's the style of music? It's genre. It's I guess it's somewhat kind of like indie pop. Uh, he did okay. a collaboration with, shoot, what is her name? Cali Uchis. Famous girl. Alicia. Uh, Alicia, Alicia Cara? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 there yeah, it yeah. is. Okay. So he's kind of her style. I'd say a little bit more in like the Rex Orange County direction, just in like the kind of artsy natural style. But um. Mostly where he stands out is it's like poetry put to music. It's so cool. good. Mm, like Bob yes. Dylan. Yeah, exactly. Very good. Very nice. Um, I would recommend uh, Netflix series of unfortunate events. Oh, yeah. I haven't finished the third season, um, but it's just a really fun show. It has a great vision. Mm-hmm. It's the creators behind it, you know, clearly knew exactly what they wanted. And uh, it's firing on all cylinders. The sets are awesome. Yeah. Um, acting's. Pretty solid, hot. solid. There's some really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes. There's some really awesome performances and some performances that are like a little less awesome. But mm-hmm. overall, it doesn't really take away from it. But um, honestly, just the set and the cinematography of it is very Wes Anderson like. So if you like that, mm-hmm. you'll definitely love this. If you read the books, you'll love it. And uh, I would just try it out either way. You might love it. You might hate it. But I would try it out. It's a very specific thing. Mm-hmm. And it's it's fun. It's fun. I agree. All right, so those are our shout outs. Right on. I guess Sweet. I guess that means that that's the that's the end of the first episode or slash episode twenty five. But yeah, yeah, season yeah, two yeah. is off to a great start, guys. I agree. Very After excited up. for this year, twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. Subscribe to French Fox Productions on YouTube. Um, all of our social media is at French Fox Prod. Which is short for productions. Exactly. Oh, no wonder. Exactly. So uh, check that out. We have a lot of fun stuff coming. This year. It's going to be awesome. Yes. Maybe mm. even some new podcast launching. Maybe. Maybe even more episodes of this podcast launching. Hopefully. Mm-hmm. I would hope that there's more <laughs> episodes of this podcast coming. Yeah, we'll launch them. Okay. Mm-hmm. Launch them. Mm-hmm. All right. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Have a great rest of your day. Uh, this podcast comes out every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe on whatever you listen to or tune back in every Thursday. Thank you guys for tuning in. We love you. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye. Locomotive. Bye. Locomotive. Signing off. We have Augie. Oh. Bye, everybody. Dylan. Bye. And I'm Ben. Peace out, guys. Pardon one sec. And I'm Ben. Peace out, guys. Yeah, Noah, keep keep mm. both of those in. Yep, please. Good night, everybody. Bye. Whoa. <laughs> I meant to set it down and then I dropped it.